just wanted to do a quick review of this layered foam 60 centimeter target that I purchased from uh, Aim for Sport for around 55 to 60 pounds. Um, I wanted a target at home really um, and not a DIY one that I'd put together previously with uh, stuffing kind of carpet, curtains, uh, bed sheets, plastic bags, foam into a banana box um, that I got from the local supermarket. Um, and basically when you're shooting kind of 38 pounds, the arrows still go through that kind of thing. Um, yeah, you can still make yourself one up, but for the price of sort of 50 pounds, uh, buying one of these is a no brainer really. Plus you get to choose all the different colors. So I chose this one with black and red on it. Um, how's it been? Yeah, this is obviously the side I've not shot on yet. Uh, I'll turn it around in a second to show you how it's been going, um, shooting uh, several uh, weeks on it, maybe once a week, um, and it's been pretty good. Um, they're a good target, actually. Um, I did varnish um, the wood, put a coat of varnish on the on the bare wood when I got it home just to protect it, but I don't leave it out. I sort of, because it's so light, it's quite nice and light, you can just bring it indoors when you're finished with it to keep it at its best. Um, but here is a tip for you, and one thing uh, I was told in the shop. Obviously at the moment the layered foam is going horizontally. Um, and you'll probably see what I've done is I've actually attached some extra pieces of wood on the side here. Uh, now why have I done that? Well, because I was told that it's going to possibly last longer. As opposed to, instead of having the uh, layered foam going horizontally, it's better to have the layered foam going vertically. So that's why I put the extra wood legs on the bottom um, and I did that so that it raised it off the ground a little bit when I put it out at the sort of 1.3 meter to the uh, center of the target height. So this is the way I have it. I have the actual layered foam going vertically down um, and it's supposed to uh, make it last a bit longer. So let's just turn it around. You can see what it's been like for me shooting several ends on it. And what I'm finding, my um, ACCs on 38 pounds are going about three quarters of the way through it. Um, to give you some sort of indication of, of uh, how good it's been. I mean, I've moved the target. I usually put a Bray target on here, uh, 40 centimetre. I don't normally put a full 60 centimetre on here. Basically because I haven't got the distance to, to shoot, really. I haven't got the 20 yards to, to shoot. Um, so, and I usually move it around. I started with it dead centre. Uh, and I have started to move it slightly more to the uh, to the left now, but it's doing well. Um, I can't see a problem with it at all. There's no pieces of real foam coming off. Um, obviously, I can still move the target round further. Uh, obviously, I've got the other side of the target to work on, um, which I haven't even shot on yet. Um, and if it got really, really, really bad, then I could obviously take the straps off um, and move the layers around. Um, and put the put the bad layers probably right at the top and bottom, and put the newer layers sort of in the middle. Uh, but I thoroughly recommend these for kind of uh, fifty to sixty pounds. It's um, it's a really good uh, item to to practice on. Obviously, you can buy the bigger ones, um, the ninety centimeters as well as the sixty centimeter ones. Um, but the good thing I do like about the sixty centimeters one, it's fine for me for the distance I shoot. Plus, it's light and you can carry it easily.